Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class in Analytical Chemistry Laboratory. Today, we are going to perform the activity on the calibration of the laboratory glasswares and uncertainty of measurement. Calibration is a process by comparison with the standard, the accuracy of an apparatus or an instrument of any type. The general principle involved in calibration is that we are going to get the mass of the water that can be contained in or can be delivered by the apparatus. And in getting the weight of this water, we're going to use a very accurate balance. And in this case, we're going to use the analytical balance because we know that the accuracy of the analytical balance is up to the 10,000th place. So in this activity, the mass or the weight of the water that we can get using this analytical balance will be related to the density of water, which is taken at 25 degrees centigrade. And there is a table in your lab guide that gives you a data on the temperature of the water and its corresponding density. So from the relationship that density is mass over volume, so with that mass of the water that we can get through this activity for trial will be uh, divided by the density so that we can get the volume of the water that this pipette can contain. So to start with, we're going to get the serial number first of this pipette. The serial number of this pipette is number 7085. Number 7085. So this is what you're going to write into the lab guide. So in the lab guide, it's marked there, pipette, serial number. So you write there the serial number which I dictated to you. And the temperature of the water at this very moment is 21 degrees centigrade. The temperature of the water that we're going to weigh is 21 degrees centigrade. So if you're going to look at your table, the density there corresponding to 21 degrees centigrade is 0 0.99802. 0 0.99802. And the unit there is gram per ml. So let's start weighing this water. Now since we have five trials, we're going to use also five beakers. So this is beaker number one. In order to get, by the way, the mass of the water, first we have to get the mass of the empty beaker. And the mass of beaker number one is 30.2685 grams. Take note, it's 30.2685 grams. Okay, let's... Let's weigh beaker number two. And beaker number two weighs 28.6244 grams. Let's record it. 28.6244. Four grams. Okay. 
Then let's weigh beaker number three. Beaker number three weighs 26.4593 grams. Let's record it. It's 26.4593 grams. Then let's weigh beaker number four. Beaker number four weighs 29.2731 grams. Let's record it. It's 29.2731 grams. Then we have the fifth beaker. And the fifth beaker weighs 29.1686 grams. Let's record it. It's 29.1686 grams. Now, after weighing these five beakers, we're going to fill them with the water that we prepared here because in calibration, generally, we're going to calibrate the instrument using water so that the, by the mass, with the mass that we can get, we're going to relate it with the density. So this is now the pipette that we're going to calibrate whether it is accurate or not or how accurate is it is so let's fill this with the water let's fill this up to the 10 ml mark So this is the 10 ml water that we're going to place into beaker number one. Okay, then let's fill the second beaker with 10 ml of water using this pipette. Then let's fill the third beaker with 10 ml of water using the same pipette. Then we will fill the fourth beaker with 10 ml of water using the same pipette.
Then we will fill this fifth beaker with 10 ml of water using the same pipette. So with these beakers that we have filled already with 10 ml of water, we're going to weigh this using the analytical balance. So for beaker number one, this is the beaker with 10 ml of water. Can you write this mass of the beaker and the water in the second column and it is 40.1655 grams repeat 40.1655 grams Then, we will weigh this second beaker with water. For this second beaker, the mass of the beaker with water is 38.5677 grams. Let's write this down. It's 38. 0.5677 grams. Then let's weigh this third beaker. And the beaker has a mass of 36.39 zero four thirty six point three nine zero four let's record it thirty six point three nine zero four grams okay then let's weigh this fourth beaker with water And the weight is 39.2084. 39.2084. So let's record it. It's 39.2084 grams. And let's weigh the fifth beaker with water. And the weight is 39.0768. 39.0768. So let's record it. It's 39.0768 grams. After weighing the beakers with water, we are going to get the mass of the water by simply getting the difference between the mass of the beaker with water and the mass of the empty beaker. You are going to write your result or the difference in the column marked mass of the water. With that mass of the water, 
you are going to get the volume of the water using the formula density equals mass over volume so that volume there can be computed as volume equals mass over density then the density is taken at 21 degrees centigrade which I said a while ago to be 0 0.99802 we use that density to compute for the volume so with that computed volume we are going to write it there in the fourth column after getting the volume or the computed volume then get the average volume you write it also there and after getting the average volume you get the standard deviation of the result getting the standard deviation you are going to use this formula standard deviation equals the square root of s squared where s there is actually the variance and the formula in getting the variance is this And that would be all for today. I want you to write all your answers as well as the observations and you submit your output next week. That would be all and this is your teacher, Professor Nesitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.